Oh my God, what a uh, honor and privileges to have uh, James Womack with us. Uh, welcome to McDonald's Gospel Fest, first of all. Thank you. And you're originally from Newark. From right? Newark, New Jersey, born and raised. Father was a preacher here. We're very good friends with Curtis Farrell. I kind of talked to him about what's happening here. I moved to LA in 2000 uh, with Vincent Herbert, started a management company, worked with Babyface and several others. The second year, signed a little white girl named JoJo. Mm. Who became a very big pop singer. Did a movie called RV. Um, now, be, coming back home to show a movie we shot last year called Clip Wings They Do Fly about mental illness. The mayor will be hosting it next month here in Newark. We've been winning several awards around the country, Austin, Texas, uh, Poconos Film Festival. We've just been blessed. Um, I've been home for a few months, and I just met a brother a few months ago. We just started the very first mixed-gender co-ed basketball league, and uh, it's being by, uh, purchased by celebrities. So the whole scheme of things is when you come to our game, a comedian will open up. Secondly, the game will start with guys and girls playing against each other, well, young women and young women, and then uh, the halftime performance will either either be their artist performing. If it's a gospel artist that owns a team, there'll be a gospel performance. So, and we're already talking about a reality show being built around the whole. It's called the Global Mixed Gender Basketball League. And you said they get paid also? They get paid also. We do tryouts in major cities. We just was here in Newark three months ago at the Prudential Center. You have to be 19 and up. You come and try out. If you make it, you get. we start you off with $200 a game or 500 But it's a job also, so we're creating opportunities. And the reality show is going to really help blow these people's careers up and build a fan base also. My background is in management and music, so that's a, a big part of, of the component. But James Scott is the CEO and president and the founder of this league, and he just brought me on as the vice president. And what, what sparked that? You work with so many people. You said you work with Vincent Herbert. Uh, you know, he's married to, uh, what, Tamar Braxton. Yeah. Well, uh, Vincent uh, took me out to L.A. in 2000. My background in Newark was the funeral business, and I did autopsies for 20 years. And I got tired of doing that, wanted to try something different, totally different uh, environment. Went to L.A. in 2000, signed my first, like I said, did a deal with Babyface. They had a label called New America. They had just signed Robin Thicke, and I had an artist named Carly Blair Pariah, a Jewish girl. The second year, discovered JoJo, pop singer who had a song called Leave Get Out, and the rest is pretty much history. I've been very blessed with the favor of God. Well, I can tell he looks very prosperous. I like your outfit. <laughs> Thank you. uh, what are you wearing today? Uh, actually, no special designer, just something I kind of put together. That's all. <laughs> what about the glasses? They really like. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I have there. several different styles. I'm a watch collector and a frame collector, so I don't know who I have on today, but. Uh, it's nothing to see me either wearing a different type of frames every day. I switch up from time to time. It's Mother's Day weekend. What do you want to say to the mothers out there? To all the mothers, we thank you all for, first of all, uh, loving God first and having God be in your life. And those of you that have introduced your children to God from the time they were born to child, if you keep him first in everything you do, nothing is impossible. I'm a kid from Newark who went to Hollywood and made it. So. If you believe in God, believe in your dreams, be around people that have the same vision, the same focus, stick with people that when you, when it's something you want to do, get together with a group of people that's doing what you hope to accomplish and let them mentor you and let them guide you and just absorb all the information you can and you'll win. You'll come out on top. Absolutely. And last but not least, who do you want to see perform today on uh, McDonald's Gospel? Well, one of my favorite friends and artists is Donnie McKirkland. Um, actually, we just passed each other a minute ago. And I want to just plug, do another plug. Uh, in 2001, I was in L.A. at Rick James' house at a barbecue, and he heard my name, Womack. And he said, Womack, where are you from? I said, Jersey. He said, well, you need to let me call Bobby because you guys may be related. I said, I have no idea. I'm from Jersey. My dad was a preacher. My uncle... He called Bobby, the next day I met with him, found out we were cousins. Wow. So I had a good two years with Bobby before he passed away. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Is there anything else you'd like to add to the people out there watching before you go? Any shout outs? Or? Believe in God with all your hope and your might. Keep him first in everything you do. I promise you'll be a winner. Everybody, this is James Womack.
Check them out here on Gospel Classic TV. We'll be right back.